Hey guys, so today we're in South Haven, Michigan, and we're going to go out and explore the wreck of the Hennepin, which is the world's first self-unloading vessel. So that's pretty much what everything in the Great Lakes is modeled after these days. So this thing sank in 1927, so it's more of a newer shipwreck compared to what we dove on the last time you seen us. So we're going to go out and have an adventure, and uh, Ray and I are going to bring you some good stuff. So stay tuned. Okay friends, so how about some quick history? The Hennepin was originally named the George H. Dyer. It was 214 foot long bulk cargo ship with one huge 1600 ton hold in it. This was converted to the world's first self unloader later on in its life. The engine was removed and it just became a towed barge. So it needed a tug to pull it. Starting to get to the wreck. All right, spot lock. You can see it skewing here, so that means we're directly over it. So, on its final journey from its home port of Ferrysburg, Michigan, it went to Chicago with a load of crushed stone. Well, on the way back, it was running empty, had 10 bilge pumps on, business as usual. It was pretty old and tired at that point in its life. So it just took on too much water and succumbed to that. No lives lost. Everyone got off safely. They just went to the Tug Lotus that was towing them, cast off the tow hauser. They just watched it slowly sink. As it sank, the galley house popped off and floated, which happens a lot to the cabins and stuff as the air pressure forces them off when a vessel sinks. So the tug just rammed it a few times and broke it up so it wouldn't be a hazard to navigation to other vessels transiting the lake. Now this is located about 13 miles offshore of South Haven, Michigan, and it's 230 feet deep. So we turn and head down the line for about two and a half minutes into nothing. And then we see our strobes far below us and the bottom starts to come into view. We see a dark silhouette of the wreck right in front of us. We're on the port bow of the wreck and you can see how washed out it is from the lake currents and the tow housers laying on the bottom in front of us, still attached. Some, but I won't. 